Hello everyone, Brooke Titchen here, and today I have something very special to show you. Something of my own creation. And here it is. My Hogwarts Express. My custom one that I built with influences from older ones, of course. But I'm happy with this one. Now, the, probably the first thing you notice is this slope right through down here. Now, if you look at other... Um, Great Western engines, they tended to actually have their, they kind of have it kind of slope down here into into the uh, smoke box up at the very front. Um, so I tried replicating that here and I actually think it turned out pretty good. Um, it's very distinct, basically from this angle, but other angles it's not as apparent. And then things moving around, it looks even, I guess it looks even better because it's just a bright blur. So we got the printed front again. I think this is kind of a classic look of um, the Hogwarts Express because it was on most of them, with all with the exception of the latest one. Um, so it's just kind of I just like it, and so I, I brought it back. Got two highlights there. Got buffer beam. Use this bar piece to represent the hook. Have a front bogey up here that's filled with basically Technic. It stays on the track pretty well. Um, it just pops off because I'm messing with it right now. Got a the name plaque right here, Hogwarts Castle. Now, kind of fun fact, this engine is actually called the Orton Hall, the one that they use for the movie. And so the engine in the movie being called Hogwarts Castle, it's a hall who thinks it's a castle, kind of as a joke amongst railroad fans. Um, got front pistons actually, uh, the side rods that just move. So you kind of can see how that works. Um, these red rings on the side are actually rubber bands to help provide traction because plastic on plastic is actually really slick. Um, and so just kind of use the traction tires there. Got a gold dome rod just popped off. And you can see I kind of have a rod kind of simulating going all the way down. And if you actually look on the actual engine, there's actually a gap right here between the, the middle drive wheel and the back drive wheel. Um, it kind of looks odd because this middle one is unflanged, but it's kind of following the kind of president that the Emerald Knight had set up with a lot of these wheels. Um, then going on the back, we actually um, connected the tender via um, Technic bar. So, and put that back and take off this so kind of a little rat tail coming back but it actually has a space for a the driver to actually stand and there's the little um, cab that i was able to put together and it's basically the exact opposite on the other side so not really a good side or bad side this engine actually um, operates under the motor of the um um, a train, actual train motor instead of a separate motor that basically most steam engines that I've seen have used. So if you look at the bottom here, there's the train motor right there. and You can kind of see how I did the wheel arrangement there for it. And I think the train it kind of works better, especially with the powered up stuff now. So the tender got all six wheels on it. Pretty um, boring, but I was running out of bricks by the end of it. Um, kept kind of the back of the latest version and kept the stickers from it too. And kind of got steps here to go up and simulate that. You got fire on the top. Um, you can see the hub right here hidden underneath the coal. And you got the water entry on the back there. And I think it actually looks pretty good. Um, so, yep, just getting them back together. So, there we are. Uh, my custom Lego Hogwarts Express, and I should probably mention the funnel here, these are actually tires. So, I thought I should mention that. So tell me your thoughts in the comment section below, what do you think of my custom Hogwarts Express? If you have any suggestions on ways that I can prove it, let me know all that in the comments section below. Thank you all for watching. Remember to like, comment, subscribe, and I'll see you all next time. Goodbye.